for some people the guitar is a tool. It's the right tool for the job, for the, for the sort of music they want to create. For me, on the other hand, my whole guitar playing and journey is a different thing. I'm not a pro musician. I love making music and content um, to put online and I adore playing around with guitars and amps. And uh, this series is all about the guitars that I've fallen in love with and why. So look, there's something about this gold SG that keeps me coming back for more. I mean, of all my guitars, I think it's the one that has let me find my own style of playing more than any of the others. I, I don't have any particular players in mind when I play an SG. I've never really seen anyone play a gold SG. And so this guitar is possibly the most, um, what's the right word, unique out of my guitars, I think. And I think if it's possible for you to find a guitar that you don't connect with someone else, it's, it gives you the best chance to just be yourself. So the reason I put this guitar in this series first is because really whatever I've been playing for the last three or four months that I feel like I've improved a lot as a guitar player started with this guitar. Um, you might have heard a lot of this sort of playing on the channel recently. <laughs> So before I sort of discovered that I love this Delta blues, Muddy Waters style, you know, this electric blues, but it sounds old, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, this rhythmical playing, this trying to run the bass line with your thumb and, um, and all of that. Um, before then, I would pick up a Strat and I would try and play like a Strat player. You know, I'd try and put in a bit of SRV and John Mayer and failed at all of that. Or I'd pick up a Les Paul and I was constantly thinking of Jimmy Page or what should I do? Um, on here and there's so many connections with other people when you pick up a Les Paul or a Strat. With um, a Tele as well, I always felt like if I can't do that fast chicken picking style or that sort of funky middle pickup position style or whatever it was that really I wasn't a good Tele player. But for whatever reason, an SG has never formed in my mind a sort of um, pattern. There's no influence to me from, for an SG. And so picking this up for the first time, I felt like, okay, I can carve out my own tiny little niche of what I'm going to play. And um, yeah, if we hear some more now, basically what I want you to take from it is this guitar lets me uh, experiment a little bit within the style. And that's what I love about blues actually as a whole. It gives you a structure so you don't have to think too much outside the box all the time. You don't have to be creating um, your own music. You you're sort of standing on the shoulders of giants. They've given you the music, they've given you the attitude and the feeling. And if you can plug into that, you can absolutely have a blast. <laughs> something about this guitar that's so much fun to play and the pickups um, I don't know exactly what it is about them I mean they're just custom buck just custom buckers I think custom buckers are great but 
they're different from all, all my other custom buckers that I've got in various guitars. They have beautiful sort of harmonic edges, the notes, um, I don't know, I want to say they collide together <laughs> really well. It's just the way I hear it, I guess, but I think it's why this guitar has come across to, to everyone as being something that they also want to rave about. It's got this vitality and brightness and interesting tonal quality. Now, it doesn't matter what I plug into. At the beginning of the video, the first clip was uh, my Rose, Bartel Roseland with the um, Carbon by Brown. And then this last couple of clips and the last one that will come are through the Rift Ainsley Lister, also with the Carbon. And yet the guitar sounds undeniably like itself, no matter what amp I put it through. Um, yeah. I mean, I could wax lyrical about it all day long, but ultimately um, the SG, like a Telecaster and a Stratocaster, is pretty comfortable to play, maybe more comfortable than a Tele, you know, it's got some softer edges. It's um, It's got a look to it that just betrays how dynamic it can be, and it doesn't have to be a rock guitar, you know, it can do its own thing. So yeah, this all might have been a bit wish wishy-washy today, I sort of, as a just want to wax lyrical about this guitar because of all my guitars, apart from maybe my um, Paul Waller Masterbuilt Hardtail, it's just got this uniqueness that makes me feel like I can be myself. And I've often thought if I did go out to play live, I'd take the Gold SG and the Paul Waller Hardtail. Those are my two guitars. All the other guitars are like a collection, you know, to, to fulfill certain things. But my own guitars that I would pick up in a fire and take with me would be those two so we might get them maybe the master built will be the next video although you might have seen enough about that guitar already and i'll pick a few others before i do one on that but yeah I, this is just really um a little set of videos to get my favorite guitars out there and for you guys to, to hear a bit um more playing through them um i don't know if i've said anything interesting <laughs> but this last clip um of that i'm gonna play I really felt free and there's plenty of mistakes in it and, and again it's that sign of a guitar that makes you feel creative um, you know maybe technically it's not the best guitar ever because the vibrola system um, doesn't help with the tuning necessarily if you use it much the um, I find it a bit woofy at the low end and the bass is just a little bit sort of big um, but the character of it just breaks through all of that. It doesn't need to be objectively good. It's like a sort of character that it has that I just fell for and still still do. So anyway, I hope you've, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you've been aware on the channel of what's going on recently and why there have been fewer videos and why I'm back to being able to make videos now, then um, I hope you understand. I'm just trying to fit in content when I can. And um, I've been playing the left hand side of this today all day as the carbon pedal and it's really fantastic it brings any amp to life even amps that you already love and are full of life just makes them a bit sweeter and i love it for that so i'm giving away this which has that same carbon side here the blues breaker and the nobles odr1 side here fantastic pedal giving it away when i hit 7500 subs and you just have to subscribe and comment and you anywhere in the world i'll send this to a name i pick out of the hat and uh yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. See you next time.